Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you really quick how to do a very simple um, but pretty cup, depending on the colors you use um, and what you do with it after you have gotten all your tape on, or I mean your glitter on. So this one obviously is gonna be some type of patriotic cup. Um, I could leave it like this. It would be pretty once I get the epoxy on. Um, but what I'm considering doing is cutting out um, with one of my machines, maybe a flag decal or something to put on it and then possibly spray painting it and then removing the decal to have these colors exposed. Um, not quite sure yet, but there's so many things um, to do with it and it's a very, very simple cup. Um, so for that one, I'm choosing these three tapes. The green one is from AutoZone. It's a pinstriping tape by 3M. It's a fourth inch. It's also the tape I use on my rhombus cup. This one is from 3M also. It's half an inch. And this one is just some painter's tape, which on the half inch it covers a little more than half of it but it doesn't have the size on it okay so as you can see for here i wanted to go red white blue red white blue red white blue all the way to the bottom so that it was a even cup in colors but you can see here where this red is not the same size as this red so all i did was at the very top I used my green tape twice and you just want to take your time when you're going around with the tape and you want to make sure that every time you apply a new tape your tapes do not overlap one another you also want to make sure that there is not um, primered cup showing between the layers of tape. There's no gaps. Tape has become my new favorite way to do designs on cups. It's how I do my rhombus cup. It's how I do my pencil cup. Some people like to cut out um, vinyl and do it that way for their templates I choose tape because tape is not as expensive as the vinyl and I don't like to waste my vinyl so <clears throat> once you get your two greens on your red white and then of course your blue you keep working your way down. And tape comes in so many different sizes that you can create such um, amazing patterns as long as you have the patience to do it. So you just keep going around. Make sure that all your lips are sealed. And make sure that when you come down to your next, um, this is a red. Okay. So remember, red, <clears throat> well, I was gonna mark it, but, just remember, not once you come to your, down to your blue, don't do two more things of green and don't do another green because now you're actually bringing in your white tape, which is going to be for your red. So red, so it's red, white, blue. Now it's going to start your red tape. Red. White. 
and I'm not going all the way around because you guys get the idea. Okay. Okay. So once you guys get your entire cup covered like this, this is when the fun starts. <clears throat> you will get a little paintbrush and you will start with whichever area you want to start with. I just started at the top. So you will remove all of your red tape. Now remember, this is the only green one that's gonna be for red. You will go down and remove all of the red tape, or whatever color, all the way down. Then you will proceed to get your Mod Podge. And for all of you that follow my videos, I heavy hand my Mod Podge. So you will not want to do thin painting of your Mod Podge. You will want to get it and heavy, 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 heavy and you will want to drip it and kind of just spread it out. And get it and drip it, pat it, spread it out. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell on the white cup, but Let's see. So that it's kind of going to be like that all the way around. And then you will oops, dump your glitter on and you will go to the next red. Do the same thing. Get your glitter on. Keep going down. Then you'll wait maybe 30 minutes or so and go remove the tape. For the next one same thing you're gonna pull all your green tape off which is gonna be your white drip it around dump your glitter 30 minutes to an hour remove that tape until your whole cup comes out looking like this then you will let it dry completely get your Krylon clear coat or whatever you choose to seal your cups so that no glitter comes off and go from there whether you're going to just seal it with your epoxy or put a decal on it like maybe I'm considering and then spray painting it and going from there um, but it's a very very easy very easy cup that comes out absolutely pretty Okay, so once again, if you have any questions, message me at any time. Um, you can find me on Facebook and most of the Tumblr groups. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy all the videos. Um, don't forget to hit like and follow me for more upcoming and interesting videos. And for once, my kids aren't here screaming in the background. <laughs> All right, so good luck, guys.